Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So as you know, figure is a very important component in the pick and place job. Um, so therefore it has to be um, working correctly or smoothly in order to make sure the job is executing cor uh, correctly. So um, as you probably know, I have made this component last time and this is the Casa feeder trimmer version. And uh, what it does is basically um, when the pick and place machine pick up the components, then you can just rotate, uh, rotate basically to make the components move forward. And in the meantime, it actually remove the plastic cover. Uh, this is a very handy. Um, it also helps a lot in the job. Um, during some time of usage, I found there are some problems. So first one is that you probably can see here, there is a flat surface. This is a broken um, because this is basically used to, um, in the beginning, to hold the plastic cover in position so that you can start turning and move the components forward. So this is um, uh, not strong enough. So, um, I, so this is one of the problem I have facing during the use. And then the second one is, uh, for example, if you have a lot of uh, uh, feeders mounted together, and then uh, if you want to rotate, it's uh, difficult because you have limited space here. Uh, so in order to overcome this, you can see I have already here, here you have seen a lot of different versions of uh, feeders, trimmer feeders. So for example, this one, um, I make a handle here so that uh, make it easier to, to rotate. Um, and also I have tried like this um, different ones. You have a hole here. And then finally, I came up with the with a version of uh, this one. So what it um, what it does is basically it has you can see there's a hole in between, and then there is also a cutting here. So the cutting is basically um, to make it easier for the plastic cover to um, when you just move remove plastic cover in the beginning, you can basically hold it in here. And then this hole is basically um, used to rotate. So you can see I also make um, a key, I call it key here. So what it does is basically it can, in the beginning, when you put the plus cover here, you can then insert the key like this. Basically, this key um, makes sure that the plastic cover in position, it doesn't go, and then you can basically rotate. And this key also make it easier uh, for it to to rotate because you have um, a bigger space and longer for a long longer distance so they make the force is uh, bigger so with this one um, it will be much easier to load the uh, um, basically the components and then uh, you can you can basically rotate here and then the component will move forward and then um, this basically solve the, the problem of operating so I can do this in here I can also rotate in here and so whenever position I can just do the rotation I can just do the rotating so without any any problem um, the other thing <clears throat> the other thing is basically when there is a lot of feeders in place and if you want to um, replace some of them and you want to remove some of them and for this one for example it's very difficult to to remove it's hard to grab grip and then one of the things i have um, improved also is that you can see um, there are handles so if you want to something remove something in between you can see basically um, this is a handle you with the with the shape so it's very easy for the fingers to hold and the same here, you can see there are certain curves, curvy surface, surface here. And basically, you can just hold it like this. And then if you want to load it, you can just plug it in like this. So it makes it also um, very easy to, to move, remove and load the, the components. And then the other, the other thing is Previously, the loading is from here, so you need to make the component go all the way down into into the spiral shape. But 
um, right now I have made a change. So basically loading is happen directly in front. So it makes it easy to load. And then um, after, after loading inside, then you can just move the component over to this side. So this is um, much, much easier. And you can see here also um, the basically the component going out from here instead of going up. Before when it's going up, basically when the uh, when the nozzle head move, it will actually hit the the part which is moving up. So in here now, um, it's basically keep in the in the back. So when you basically rotate it, you will see it actually um, moving out longer and longer. But you might have a, you might have a question like, how does that um, work if there are multiple multiple uh, rows? So the uh, thing is basically in here. Uh, you can see there is also a a space here. So the the component in the front basically will then go into this go into this hole and then going out also from from the back. So actually, if you, if I put a, a component here, then you it's, it will then move from the front, move in from the front, and then going back, uh, going out from the back. So this one is um, also uh, one of the improvements. So that in this way you can mount multiple rows um, as long as you align the feeders. Um, you will not need to worry about that. Uh, the component moving out is nowhere to go. So yeah, this is um, also one of the improvements. Uh, the other thing is you can see this is the narrower version. Um, it's like a 12 um, millimeter wide. Um, so the I made another one, which is um, this one. Um, you can see here, it's um, uh, it's basically double the feeder. The benefit, of course, it's because it's it's wider. So when you place um, onto the build plate, it will be um, more firm. It will it will, it will stay in the build plate um, more stable than this one. So which is um, um, pretty good. Um, so the other thing is working uh, similar as the, the narrow version. Uh, of course, the narrow version has the benefit that you can um, you can get it out if there is a smaller space. You can basically uh, plug in the narrow version. So to use the and also you can see the narrow version is okay. It's it's it, it will move a little bit, but still, when you're doing the job, uh, the the header. The nozzle head will come here and then use the um, the top camera and then to look at the position. So that's that is also okay. But then it's that this one is um, much more stable than than this uh, narrow version. So yeah, this is a, an another uh, improvement. So basically, with this uh, um, trimmer, you can see I have already um, a lot of different types. I have made some a uh, lot of different iterations just to um, make different, try out different designs. So this is basically what I come up with. So, so far I'm happy with the design and I will also upload the models uh, to my website. Uh, you can you can download, um, there's a narrow version, you can download freely and then there is a, the double version, it's um, um, in the extended uh, version. Um, if you had a subscription, then you can also download um, freely. And then I have also made some other uh, improvements, uh, for example, like nozzle, chain, nozzle tip change station, and also the, the nozzle head, I also um, made, some, made some improvement. But um, I will um, cover that in, an, in a later video. So um, you can subscribe my channels uh, to make sure you don't miss any um, updates. Um, yeah, that's basically so. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video, so see you next time.